Sean, you keep teasing us. I know we have some good news coming this weekend for weather, but let's focus on tonight. What are we going to expect with our weather tonight? Well, we could end up with a few strong to severe storms. Hail and wind will be the main severe threat, but there could also be an isolated tornado kind of tossed in there somewhere. So stay weather aware here this afternoon into this evening. Everything should be blown through by about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight, but between now and then, we are going to be watching the radar carefully. Right now, we already have a few showers, thunder showers, far western Minnesota, west of Montevideo, extending back to oh, about Watertown and Brookings, South Dakota. Also, a few showers and thunderstorms now beginning to move into southwestern Minnesota near Worthington, Slayton, kind of headed toward the Wyndham area. Nothing severe yet. The only thing we have going on is some brief heavy rain and some cloud to ground lightning, but that could change. We have a lot of instability. There's a lot of moisture. You can tell when you walk outside, it is muggy as all get out and that's fuel for storms a cold front pushing east we have a warm front on the leading edge of that that's why our temperatures are going to begin to climb and continue to climb into the mid to upper 80s here through the day today and as that cold front smashes into all that heat and humidity we're going to get that rising air those showers and thunderstorms are going to tower up and um, there could be some severe storms in fact the storm prediction center has upgraded areas from mankato north st cloud the twin cities state fairgoers to an enhanced risk, and uh, it's looking like there's a little better spin in the atmosphere, mainly north of Mankato, and that could lead to an enhanced or a little better risk for a tornado or two later this afternoon. So that's an area we're going to be watching. Be weather aware. Keep that first alert app handy. We are going to be watching things throughout the day and we'll have updates. That's the best way to get instant alerts and updates from the weather team and your warnings and you can track the storms and just kind of keep an eye on things and watch as uh, things evolve later today. The other thing, you can feel the moisture in the air. The dew points in the mid 70s again today. That's going to uh, lead to good rain and uh, some of these storms could produce a half inch to an inch or more of rain possibly even up to an inch and a half. We're from the dark to the light blues here, and you can see over here, that's an inch to an inch and a quarter, maybe even a little more with some of the heavier showers and thunderstorms. So again, something we're going to be watching closely. Through 2 o'clock, storms will continue to evolve and push eastward, and that will continue into the afternoon. Here we are at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Now keep in mind, this is the computer model. This is a forecast model. This isn't necessarily exactly where the storms are going to be, but this will give you a good idea as to what we're expecting. Here we are at 5 by 6 o'clock, everything beginning to move out of the area. Still some good showers and thunderstorms down in northern Iowa. Everything will continue to push off to the east and eventually move out of here late tonight. And then after we head into tomorrow, we have some good weather on the way. In fact, the dew points are high today, but we're going to see them drop considerably as we head through the weekend. We actually have a couple of fronts that are going to be coming through. And the second front isn't going to bring much weather, but it'll bring much cooler temperatures for late weekend 87 today it's going to be warm and humid thunderstorms some could be severe tonight storms will end will clear out after midnight the 10-day forecast 77 friday 82 saturday 72 on sunday look at that last half of the labor day weekend the weekend's going to be absolutely fantastic and that dry mild weather is going to continue we'll warm up a little bit but it'll still be fairly pleasant through most of next week all right that's what's going on time for a break we're back after this